Hello there, folks. The Dirty Rancher here. I just want to thank you all for joining me for another funny story. This one might be a bit controversial. It may or may not be funny to some of you. Just a forewarning. But this story goes back a few years, and I was working with my dad, and he was the supervisor of a flooring and uh, a, a concrete tile a hard surface company back in Winnipeg. I'm not going to say the name of the company, but uh, we were doing some work at a place called Via Rail. It's in Winnipeg, and it is a train station, very old, very famous train station here in Canada. And we were replacing all the marble stairs throughout the whole place. There's hundreds of marble stairs to tear out, clean up, and put back in. It was quite a bit of work. And it was me, my dad, and a funny guy, a, a short guy, uh, his name was Justin. Alright, so... Uh, this is where the story starts to take off, alright? You gotta remember, Justin, okay, he's a cool dude, short little guy, um, but the thing you gotta know about him, uh, I I'm not sure if he was Caribbean or Jamaican, but he, he was a cool young black guy, right? But he talked like a white guy, like he had a white raspy guy's voice, he did not sound black at all, right? It, it was weird, but... He had a white guy's voice, okay? So uh, this is a detail you gotta remember for the rest of the story to the end, okay? You gotta remember he has a white guy's voice. So we were doing all these marble stairs, and I'm telling you, there's hundreds of them in this place. It was a lot of work, all right? Tons of work. But it was fun. You know, we did our job, and uh, we did a good job at it. You know, it was great, but yeah, hard work, hard work, man. A lot of hard work. So, another detail of the story you have to know before I start continuing is that I had some new neighbors move in recently. They were from, oh god, uh, they were either from Sierra Leone or Nigeria, or some, somewhere in Central Africa. They were from, I believe, I'm not sure exactly where. There was a young, nice black family, right? Really quiet, kept to themselves. They just moved in. I never had a chance to introduce myself yet. Okay, and we all know how important first impressions are, okay? <laughs> so, th this is a, another good detail for the story you have to remember. Um. Okay, so, <laughs> one day we were finished, probably one of our busiest days there at Via Rail. And we probably installed probably close to 60 steps, right? It was, a, it was a big day for us. So, it was me, my dad, and Justin coming back home, and uh, my dad had the company truck, and he was going to drop me off, and then drop Justin off at home, okay? So, we were right in front of my house, we were just shooting the shit, no smoking our cigarettes, uh, smoking a little joint, before we, uh, before I went back inside the house, and uh, I opened up the door, and of course, my new neighbors are outside, right next door to where I live, and uh, they're moving in, right? Freshly moving in. And of course, Justin, like, he, he, he was a funny guy, right? And he knew how to pull his punches, okay? And uh, he knew the situation. He seen my neighbors, okay? And he thought he would play a little joke on me. So, <laughs> as soon as I opened the door and I was stepping over, shooting the shit, I say goodbye. And, okay, um, okay, this is where it gets controversial here, okay? Um... I guess for, for, for me being a white man telling this story, I guess it becomes controversial, I suppose, but I still feel I have the need to tell this. So, I was, out, I was outside the truck, I was about to go back in, you know, uh, tell these boys, uh, yeah, see you later, have a good day, good day, you know, whatever, but before I shut the door, Justin rolled down the window. <laughs> that son of a bitch, man. He fucking screamed, screamed at the top of his lungs, and... Remember, he has a white guy's voice. I don't think my neighbors seen that he was black. <coughs> so, so okay. Remember, 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 new neighbors. Justin's got a white guy's voice. Okay, this is this is where he gets fucked. He screamed at the top of his lungs with a hard R, by the way, a very hard R. <laughs> he said, "Nick, you worked like a." 
today. And my dad fucking peeled off the second he said it. So fucking, of course, what, 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 how bad does that look on me? Again, first impressions on my neighbors. That, that was not a good first impression, okay? So what do they, what do my neighbors see? They see me, some little white kid getting out of some, some big company truck, you know, and some guy screaming out the front seat, you work like a today and it was so bad it was so bad and there i was fucking left in shock and awe with my bag of tools and i had to slowly turn around and walk inside while the neighbors were just they were giving me the most brutal stare and i felt so bad i had no control over it fucking justin man he fucked me over so bad okay that was so funny I thought that was just one of the most hilarious stories I can ever retail in my life. Um, obviously not for what was said, but just the situation itself. I thought it was very humorous uh, years later, and uh, I thought I found it funny to tell this story. So tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, please don't get mad at me. It's just a story. I didn't say it. Very hard R from a black man with a white guy's voice. Okay, I can't help it. It wasn't my fault. It was just really fucking funny, okay? <laughs> so thanks again, folks, for watching. I appreciate your time. Have a fantastic day. Well, hey there. Dirty Rancher here. I just want to say thanks for watching the video. It really makes my day to see those views go up. So remember, like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a great day.